Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you how to expand a logarithm. So this is lesson 10 in my tutorial on logarithms, and up till now I've been showing you properties of logarithms, and now I'm going to show you how to use those properties to expand an expression. So if we have log base 3 of x squared y to the third divided by z, and we want to use properties of logarithms to stretch out this statement to make it basically a longer form, we can use the properties I've been talking about in my previous videos. So one of the properties I explained to you is that when we have a logarithm of a fraction, then that's equal to the logarithm of the numerator minus the logarithm of the denominator. So let's go ahead and write that out here. So log base 3 of all this stuff is equal to log base 3 of the numerator. So our numerator is what's on top, x squared y to the third and minus log base 3 of our denominator. And the denominator is what's on bottom, which is our z. So we've expanded this a little bit, but we can use some of the other properties to expand this a little more. So another property that I told you about was when you have a logarithm of a product, two things multiplied by one another, then that can be split up into the logarithm of the first plus the logarithm of the second. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to break this apart into log base 3 of the first, which our first is x squared, plus log base 3 of the second. In this case, it's y to the third. And this last term is simplified, so we're just going to go ahead and rewrite it. And so now we have another property we can use. Um, one of the things I told you earlier was that you can take an exponent and bring it out front. So if you have some number raised to some power, you can bring that exponent out front of the logarithm. So let's go ahead and do that for both of these terms. So this is equivalent to sorry, this is equivalent to bringing the 2 out front and then just writing the rest. So this is equivalent to 2 log base 3 of x. We just move the 2 out front and everything else stays the same. And we're going to go ahead and do that to this guy. So we're bringing the 3 out front. This becomes 3 log base 3 of y. And then this guy doesn't change. Log base 3 of z. So by using properties of logarithms that I've explained in my previous videos, we found that log base 3 of x squared y to the third divided by z is equivalent to 2 times the log base 3 of x plus 3 times the log base 3 of y minus the log base 3 of z. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you guys have learned some stuff from this. And uh, you guys have a great day. And stay tuned for another example. I'll do a couple more examples of this stuff. So stay tuned for that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.